Welcome, witches, wizards, and muggles. Today, I wanted to show you guys a quick DIY of the Albus Dumbledore painting. So, we all love Dumbledore. Who doesn't, right? So, I wanted to recreate this painting and put it into my collection. So, basically what I did was I printed the picture, a really high-res picture that I have, on a canvas type of material. So, it gives it that oil painting. Um, and then the rest of the process of this video is just basically how I did it. So, if you want to see how I did it, follow along. All right, so now since we got the uh, plexiglass out of the frame, since this is black, we do have to paint it gold to match the actual frame from the film. And for that, I'm going to be using this gold acrylic chrome paint from Montana. And yeah, let's get to painting. As always, you want to start with a light coat first. You don't want it to spray too heavy, because if you spray too heavy, you might risk getting um, run-ons if the paint is too too runny. And then the only way to remove that is if you sand it and repaint it, which we definitely do not want to do. So take it easy, please. All right, and just like that, everything is painted gold. So now the good thing with this type of paint is that it dries pretty quickly, but because it is metallic, you want to give it an extra time to cure. Um, I usually will give it 24 hours just to be extra safe. Sorry for the low light because it is almost six o'clock p.m. and I rushed home after work to get this painted, but here we go. So now we're gonna let this cure and dry and then we're gonna move on to mounting the frame and then actually adding the embellishments that go around the edge of the frame. And you like my fancy risers? <laughs> Bricks that are literally painted gold now. So I have started drawing some of the embellishments that go on the frame and I am using an oil type of pen. Very meticulously adding all the details little by little. One thing that I didn't show was the weathering process on all around the gold border. Um, if you guys want to see how I kind of do that, look at my other video of the Mirror of Erised. And I do kind of show the process of how to weather and age uh, with paint. Here are some final images of the finished product. I have added some close-up shots of the final product just to show you guys how it looks up close. Don't forget to swish and flick that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get notifications when I upload a new video, which I'm going to try and do more for you guys. So if you guys want to uh, have me do a DIY that you guys want to see, leave them in the comments. I would love to do um, whatever you guys want me to do. <laughs> so thank you.